29 staircases you can make in Minecraft. Although staircases are a staple of most builds, that doesn't mean they're always straightforward. So today, let's tackle every staircase that we could think of from practical to problematic. And hey, the YouTube analytics magician told me that no one has ever subscribed to the channel with their left ring finger. And honestly, I don't know why anyone would, but if you're up to that challenge, place your digitus medicinalist on that red sub button down below. It's free and it helps out a ton. Now, if you're looking to get from point A to point B and you wanna use something a little bit more reusable than a pillar, then most people know that you gotta do it with full blocks. Honestly, this is one of the simplest ways to get from the bottom of your world right up to the top. And you'll see this everywhere, whether that's old versions of the game or even more more likely in Bed Wars. Everyone's familiar with a full block staircase. They're functional, but they're not exactly a looker, and they're definitely slow to go up. So really, if you want to add some speed to it, then you gotta use actual stair blocks. Folks, it's the entire reason Mojang added these into the game, and they're a definite step up from the previous competition. One big fortunate change here is that if you just want to walk up here and not hold down your space bar, that's entirely possible. Really, when you think of stairs in Minecraft, this is the first thing you think of. But building one of these is gonna take a lot of space. I mean, look at how many blocks we have to cover just to go from one point right up to build limit. Which means that if you want a staircase with a smaller footprint, you probably gotta go for something like a two by two spiral staircase. This makes for a very common pick, especially when you're trying to get up and down from mineshaft. But really, the smaller footprint is about all this has on top of a regular staircase. Because as you can see, when you use the full block method that most of us use here, it's not that fast to go up and down one of these things. And that constant turning round and round and about, it's just gonna make you dizzy and waste your time. So if you wanna save the headache on both of those, you're definitely resorting to a regular spiral staircase. Using more half blocks and steps, this is much easier to go up and down. Whether you wanna spin on down to a swanky vault room or just go up to the top of your penthouse apartment, this works in both cases. And again, depending on how crazy you wanna go here, you can make one of these super extravagant or a little more subdued. Really, it's whatever you got room for. But if you're still having trouble fitting one of the smaller versions of that into your base, then by all means, you gotta go to a one by one trapdoor spiral staircase. And folks, not only is that a mouthful to say, but it's also quite the sight to see. I mean, in fairness to this build, it does live up to the name. Everything that you need to go up and down is fit entirely into a one by one block space. But as soon as you take the time to climb up and down one of these things, you're gonna be asking if you're really saving anything there. They're not that fun to go down. They're definitely not fun to go up. Up, really, there's no point to build this instead of a novelty. And you know what? Speaking of novelty, we really haven't pushed that to the limit until we've made the tallest possible one block wide staircase. This build is not only a monstrosity, but also somewhat of a feat of Minecraft engineering. And as you can see when you look at this, every single block that we're using has a different hitbox. It's impressive, but the only annoying part here is that it's not able to be walked up easily. As you can see, we have to jump up each individual step, which really isn't that fun. So to fix that, how about we build the tallest one block wide staircase that's actually walked walkable. To be frank, when we build this, we do sacrifice some of the height that we had in the last one, but the huge feature is that we just get to hold W and go up all of these with ease. And you know what? If you like the weird mix of blocks that we had in the last one, we still keep plenty of that on display. Making this still a pain to look at, but hey, at least now it's not as much of a pain to walk up. And you know what? If you're looking for weird combinations of blocks, then we haven't even scratched the surface yet. And probably the most common combination that you'll see in someone's world is putting fences and walls together with carpet. Yeah, for some reason, even though we're not able to jump over fences and walls normally, as soon as we put a carpet on top, making it admittedly taller, now we can jump over with these. If you really wanna roll out the red carpet for your staircase guests, there's no way that you're gonna pass this. But if your guests are a bit more hardcore, then your cutesy carpet method maybe isn't impressing them. So if if you're looking for something a little bit more metal, then how about getting actually metal and using chain blocks as a staircase instead? As you can see here, if you manage to get all the iron and blocks necessary to build one of these things, it totally functions like a regular staircase. But again, if you're getting all the resources to make one of these things, it's gonna take a lot of work. And really, after mining up all of that iron to make the chains, you're probably working up an appetite. So if that's the case, don't sweat it. We can put all of that new hunger to use and actually build a fully functional cake ladder. This has to be one of the weirdest things you can build in Minecraft. For one, getting all the ingredients necessary for this is definitely gonna require you to have some kind of egg and wheat farm. But even after that, say you place all of these blocks down, now you still gotta eat the cake. But in the end, after you go through all those steps, you're surprisingly greeted with a pretty fast form of travel. And no, I'm not talking about walking this thing by yourself, because as you can see, that's not the fast part. But as soon as you add a horse 
force into the mix, now that speed gets added into the equation. And while a standard staircase like this can do the job just all right, in the recent 1.17 snapshots, we can actually push it one step further. That's right, by mixing together the new dripstone block and the cake horse ladder, we can actually get even more speed going up one of these things. But while the next update looks like it's gonna add a bit more speed to this classic favorite, we still got a problem here. Because as anyone knows who watched our testing to find out what's the fastest way to sky limit, even though the cake horse ladder is a pretty fast method, it still gets outclassed by something as simple as ender pearls. As you can see, since ender pearls are projectile, as soon as we throw it into a bubble column staircase like this, then it actually is possible to move it upwards in an angle. And really the main downside of this might just be that as soon as you reach the top, your ender pearls still might be on cooldown. So if you wanna head right down to the bottom in a round trip, you're not gonna be able to do that so quick. So instead of making something so precise and limited, how about we make something that's a little bit easier on our right click button? And of course, the boat staircase is an obvious shoe in for that one. Now, while these things are definitely better suited for transporting you on water than land, as it turns out, when we put them in an angular formation like this, then all you have to do is just hold right click and you're basically climbing the staircase. But before you go putting one of these in your next world, maybe slow your roll, Captain. Because after all, if you build one of these and you don't have your boating license, then going through all of those different ships is definitely gonna send a red flag to the Coast Guard. So to play it safe, instead of using all those planks, how about we switch those out for iron ingots instead? If you place yourself just right and look up through that minecart stack at a roughly 45 degree angle, then all you gotta do is hold down the right click button and all of a sudden you'll be shot up right to the top. But if you go through all the trouble of building one of these things, just make sure you're not able to move the minecart any way off course. But before you even go worrying about that, the first thing that's on your list is to make a fully functional iron farm for one of these. Building one of these isn't cheap, and you're definitely gonna need all the golem drops you can get to fund this thing. Or you know what, if you're looking for a different option, how about taking those iron golems out of the farm and instead putting them to use in a staircase? No joke, thanks to the insane amount of knockback that these guys give off, we can actually make a quite functional iron golem knockback staircase. Now, this is gonna hurt, so be careful, but what you gotta do to use this is go up, punch the iron golem, and then stay walking forward so that you climb the staircase. But really, while those golems will do the bulk of the work for you, they're definitely gonna leave a few marks. So if you're instead looking for an automatic staircase that doesn't put you in a body bag, this might be your next best thing. As you can see here, if we put a staircase next to a wall of non-full blocks, like honey blocks or chests, for example, then when you add in the right water streams, all you gotta do is hug up next to that wall and it'll actually push you up the staircase. Now, it's definitely not fast, but hey, it's automatic, so I guess there's that. And personally, my favorite part of this method might just have to be the built-in water feature. So you know what, if we're gonna be using water, how about we go straight to the source and actually use full water source blocks for our staircase. And while looking at this definitely proves that it's a marvel that breaks physics entirely, when you actually choose to go up one of these things, then it's way more apparent why we have water slides and not water climbs. It's just not that fun. Instead, if we want to supercharge our water blocks into way more of a faster method, then the obvious choice is by making a swim staircase. If you got your brush stroke in line and you're playing this past the aquatic update, then you can actually get pretty fast going up one of these things. And if you want to add even more speed into the equation, then all you gotta add on is something like Depth Strider and Dolphin's Grace and you'll shoot up that like a rocket. And really, that extra speed might come in handy in more ways than one. Because if you're spending all that time climbing up one of these things, you definitely don't want to drown. So if drowning's a concern for you and instead you'd rather take that crawl space into a drier location, then actually building a crawl staircase might be up your alley. Here we keep the same small sleek footprint that we had with the swim staircase, but obviously you don't have to worry about that pesky breathing. Instead, the only thing that we gotta worry about here is just keeping our crawl space under 1.5 blocks tall. And actually, that's the reason why we use snow layers here instead of slabs. Because if we use one of those, then it would allow the player to stand up into a crouch formation. Not exactly ideal when you're trying to get up to the top. But if you're looking to avoid that claustrophobia and climbing something a little bit bigger than an air duct, then how about we take those snow layers out of the actual crawl space and put them into a regular staircase. If you find that regular staircases in Minecraft are just a bit too steep, then this might solve your problem, admittedly a bit too well. While sure, we're able to sprint and jump up one of these with ease, it's not exactly making it faster. Really, it might look nice and clean, but this is definitely one of the most underwhelming ways of traveling in Minecraft. And you know what's even worse? It's not even the longest staircase we can possibly make in the game. No, it can't even do that right. That award goes to this monstrosity over here. Now, the one that we have built here is actually 17 blocks wide just to climb one block of height. Meaning that even though I'd say that this is as annoying to climb as a regular snow layer 
entire staircase. At the very least, it's just impressive to know this is how far we can push Minecraft's limits. But really, if you're going about building one of these really long staircases in Minecraft, they stick out like a sore thumb. So if that's a problem for you and instead you'd rather hide your staircases, then we can solve that like this. As you can see, if we look right at this wall, it doesn't seem like much. Definitely not a staircase. But by manipulating the stair connection mechanics with redstone, then we can actually have a staircase pop out of this seamless wall. And look, even though I love this method so much, it's been covered plenty of times on YouTube, meaning that many onlookers probably aren't going to be that surprised when they see it pop out. So instead, if you want to hide your staircase in a wall and be a bit more discreet, how about we do this by hiding your staircase inside of a storage wall? You'll be left with an end result that looks pretty close to a regular storage container. But as I'm sure you can expect, that's only scratching the surface. Because the true way this contraption works is that if you walk up to this chest right in the sweet spot of its hitbox, then you can walk up the staircase without ever having to jump. But you know what, that's still not the furthest we can go for hiding our staircase in a wall. Because if you really want to pop out a staircase that comes right out of your wall, then how about using actual walls? Thanks to recent changes that Mojang made to the wall's connectivity, we can actually use redstone to pop out the walls at certain intervals and make ourselves a staircase. Just make sure you're ready to handle just how surreal it is to watch your wall become a staircase and then turn right back into a wall right before your very eyes. At this point, we've definitely deconstructed what a staircase can be, so why don't we get a bit more meta and put a staircase inside of a staircase. By this point, all rules and regulations are out of the window, so if instead you want to use those pistons to make a staircase come out of the floor of a regular staircase, then by all means it's possible. And look, if you're crazy enough to put together all the redstone possible to do this, then I see no reason why you shouldn't piece this together to infinity and beyond. And you know what, speaking of infinity and beyond, how about we put our admin powers to use and actually make a real infinite staircase. Now the way this effect works is that every time that we go up to the top of the staircase, it teleports you down a floor and then vice versa when you're going down. Meaning that whatever direction that you choose to go, there's always gonna be this illusion that you're climbing infinitely. Until the end of time, you're gonna be climbing that staircase, pondering on staircase and basically living as a staircase for the rest of your life. And oh God, by this point, I think we've definitely gone off the deep end talking about staircases. So why don't we take it back a step? Or rather, a half step. Instead, talk about this half step, the slab. Slab staircases aren't as efficient as a regular staircase, but they're still just as easy to climb. And in some cases, I'd even argue that they're much nicer to look at. Sometimes a more subtle incline is just what you need. But if you're looking to reintroduce the speed of a regular staircase into this method, then how about we put soul soil underneath the slab blocks? Combining this with our soul speed three boots, then this makes sure that almost all the time that we're walking up this staircase, we're doing so with some pretty sweet speed. I see this as an absolute win. And while the hardest part of this might just be getting that enchantment to actually put on your boots, as soon as you have it, then you can't deny that this is a pretty fun way to go up and down your house. And while I've definitely enjoyed myself going up and down this soul speed speedway, if we're really talking about the most fun option for Minecraft traversal, then my favorite's gotta be the slime block bouncing. Using perfectly spaced out launchers like so, if we run at this diagonally, then we can actually climb up a staircase using slime block bounces. And while you might have to occasionally correct your air positioning to get this going just right, as soon as you learn the method, then this is definitely a fun way to get up to the top of your world. And really, after building and designing all those different staircases, I think we all could use a little fun. And with that, folks, step on that red sub button down below and have a good one, all right?